Tom, thank you. With Brian Hansen and Joey Mantia. Joey, you won the 1,000, now the 1,500. What makes you the best middle distance skater in this country? Yeah, it feels good. Uh, a lot of hard training right now. Uh, as you can see, I'm toasted right now. I can barely breathe, but uh, it's a good place to be. Feel confident going into the games. When you're in that last pair and you see the time to beat, what goes through your mind before the gun goes off? Uh, I try not to worry about it too much. Uh, Brian's getting a strong race, but I have my own race plan. I wanted to go out and go a lot faster than that, but uh, it's just not fast in here tonight. And I really paid for it trying to go too hard too early. Really struggled on the last lap, but uh, yeah, it was a good learning experience. Brian, you were on the team in Sochi. Here you are four years later going back to the Winter Games. What does it mean to you to wear the red, white, and blue once again? Oh, I'm super excited, and I couldn't be more happy to have these fans here helping me out, cheering me along. But, you know, I'm just so excited to be representing the U.S. again and going to Korea for my third games. One of the things I was going to ask you was about the fan support. It gets loud in here. You guys have the hoods on. How much can you feed off the energy from the crowd while you're actually out on the ice performing? Oh, I love it, especially here. You know, we're so used to competing in the Netherlands where it's a bunch of Dutch, and they still cheer us on, but this is a true local crowd, and, like, that's something really exciting and to be skating in front of everybody here, right? Like, I mean, I live here in Milwaukee for the past six years, and to have all these people come out, it's just been great. A few less cowbells here in America than in the Netherlands. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you.